Hello, everybody! Welcome to Ochiba Wolf Collection, where I, Ochi, open and review Sailor Moon items. I want to say a special welcome back to my subscribers, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching, liking, and commenting on my videos. If you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing so you guys never miss a new video of mine. Click that little tiny cosmic heart button in the lower right hand corner of your screen to subscribe. Today's a treat, you guys. A freaking treat. I am so excited to show you guys what's inside this box because it is a box from Hobby Link Japan. And for those of you guys who know what Hobby Link Japan is, you guys know that they sell Japanese products for retail cost. There's their website right there hlj.com for you fine folks to check it out so let's go ahead and open this with my cute knife oh gosh i cannot see i'm watching this through the camera so this is pretty difficult hopefully i don't cut myself on camera oh wasn't even on the box there we go oh i'm opening this for the first time with you guys i am so excited <gasps> this is how they package them so Let's just pull everything out one by one. Here are the pins. We have both of the postcard sets, the pin case, Ooh, the Seppo pouch. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in there. I forgot that I ordered a lot of this. And we'll look at this a little bit closer one by one here in just a sec. I just kind of want to just pull them all out real quick. Love these type of notebooks. Ooh, that's it. That's what was in this box. They fit it all in there. So these are the Sailor Moon Eternal Sun Star stationary items. And like I said, I did pre-order these from Hobby Link Japan. And if you guys follow me on Facebook, you knew exactly where to order these too. Because I shared these pre-order links on July 10th on my Facebook page. So if you guys aren't already following me on my Facebook and you want to stay up to date with new Sailor Moon merchandise news where I provide links for you guys to pre-order items, so check me out on Facebook. I am at Ochiba Wolf Collection on Facebook to stay up to date on new Sailor Moon merchandise pre-orders. I don't even know where to start, you guys. I, I've got so many of these items. I don't know which one I want to dive into first. Maybe just start with, what, one of these notebooks? Let's just go ahead and open them up. So the cool thing, you guys, about Hobby Link Japan is they are a retailer. And so that means I got these for the retail cost. And I'll show you guys exactly the price that I paid in just a second, if I can get this open. So I actually have my invoice here. These are the exact products that I ordered and the prices that I paid. And these prices that you guys are seeing right here are the exact retail price that these were going to be. So like when the Sailor Moon official website announced these products, these were the prices that were listed. So Hobby Link Japan is great for that, especially if you, you know, want to buy Sailor Moon products at retail cost with no upcharge fee, no deputy fee or proxy fee or anything like that. And they don't get everything, but they do get a lot of um, items. So it's a great place to pre-order new Sailor Moon products. So the first item that I took out of the package is the Sailor Moon Ring Notebook. And these were 600 yen each. And look at how gorgeous it is. I mean, it's definitely really sparkly. Let's get a close up here on how it looks. Oh, it's amazing. And it has Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal right there in the middle. And I love all the compacts and wands that are in the Sailor Moon Eternal style. There we are, Cosmic Heart fam. Woot! A gorgeous freaking notebook for six bucks, you guys. And in the back, we have the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal logo right there. And we also have the Toei Stick marking this an official product. Down here you'll see that it is the Sunstar stationery brand that is out of Japan and they're still using the 25th anniversary logo and then we have the Sailor Moon eternal logo down here and when you look down here and you see the little number in the box that is what the price is in Japanese yen so this was 600 yen like I stated, and it's made in Japan. I'm really excited to open this up because as most Japanese stationery, they go into detail on designing these really beautifully. Oh my gosh, it's clear. What? I didn't even realize that. That is beautiful, you guys. Check it out. Whoa, so it's just a clear sheet. I would have never guessed. So cool. I hope you guys out there enjoy these type of videos just to see how some of these products come if you don't order them yourselves. I know I do. If I don't order anything, I always go looking for videos to show me what they look like. So here is the first page. Remember how I said they go into some detail. Love Japanese stationery. Here's the top here. Oh, we got little hearts on the lines. God, Japan, you do some cute stuff. 
we have Super Sailor Moon's silhouette down here with the little moon. And I wonder if all the pages are the same. Let's just flip through them here. They do all look to be the same. We'll see if it's a little different on the other side. Yeah, this is the other side of the uh, front page and it just has a moon instead of Sailor Moon on him. Nothing on the back there. Let's open these guys next. So these are the Sailor Moon Memo pads that are the A6 size and I got both of them. First one is the exact same pattern as the ring style notebook. So we've got the little clear sheet at the top and then the psychedelic one underneath it. And okay, I gotta tell you guys about these A6 memos. These are the most adorable little notepads you can ever even imagine. I mean, look at this. So these prints on here are light enough for you to see whatever you're writing on as a cute little note. Let's get a close up here of the pattern on this page. Oh, I love it. Cosmic Heart fam, what up? Oh, beautiful. And the cool things about these notebooks is look at the side here. You guys are going to notice we have one, two, three, four different patterns of pages inside this notebook. So I already showed you this pattern. Let's go ahead and show you the next. This one is a horizontal one and it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal. Oh, I love the stripes. Let's go to the third one here. This one just looks like a plain grid pattern, but we do have the guardian symbol color heart in hearts up here at the top. And then the last pattern that we have is a horizontal one that looks, what did it look similar to the first one, right? Let's see. No, this one has a, this one's a light pink background and this one is all white. Oh, these are so cute. And the cool thing about these are they are easy tear. So like if I wanted to write on this, look how easy that is to tear out a sheet send a little note to somebody but that is the first notebook here's the back of it as well kind of the same deal we've got the sailor moon eternal logo here and the toei sticker and then these were 480 yen each there were two types in the lineup and i ended up getting both of them so here is the second one of the a6 memo we have super sailor mercury super sailor mars super sailor moon super sailor jupiter my girl and super sailor venus uh, they don't have any faces. <laughs> Back is the same, and I believe this is going to have the same deal where it's just a clear uh, plastic piece at the top and then this little piece of paper. Here is the first memo design. Kind of looks exactly like the front, doesn't it? Oh, I love the second memo design. We have Super Sailor Moon over here and the Inner Guardians over here. The third design is is one that focuses on Super Sailor Chibi Moon and the Outer Guardians. We have Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Saturn, and Sailor Pluto right here. And then here is the last one with Super Sailor Chibi Moon and then the Outer Guardians. Here's a close-up of them. I can't wait for Sailor Moon to turn on you guys. I really can't. Oh. Super cute notebooks for less than $5. Did I tell you guys when these released? I don't remember if I did, but these released at the end of August, 2020, this whole Sailor Moon Eternal stationery collection. Now I didn't get everything. They did sell some Claire files and some other notebooks and pouches that I skipped out on, but I did get the majority of items. So this is kind of a really good look into some of these items. So this next item is a postcard set. There were two of these sets available and we'll go through the second one here in just a second. Second. But this postcard set is one clear file with five postcards inside. And when you flip it over to the back, you're going to see exactly which postcards are included. These were 700 yen a package. I don't think I'm going to open this up on camera, but I will show you guys a close up of the postcards that are inside here. So you do get Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus inside this. And this must be the clear file in the back here that encases them all. I do believe some of these products are still available on Hobby Link Japan. So definitely check out Hobby Link Japan if you guys are interested in anything that you see in this video today. And here is the second postcard set. We have Super Sailor Chibi Moon on the front. So he's looking adorable. I love the soft colors that they used to color this whole Sailor Moon Eternal stationary line. And we get the outer guardians in this one so these are the postcards that are included inside and then the clear file that holds them all together the next items i got are these tack memo and there's four designs inside of these memos as well as you can see on the side here so i won't be opening these yet but i'll just go ahead and get you guys some close-ups here of 
the designs that are on the inside of these little tack notebooks. And these were 550 yen each. Super cute little memos. And here is the other tack memo. And here are the designs included. These are more like an icon style design instead of the actual guardians. Very nice tack memos. So these next ones are pens and pencils, I believe. They're called Dr. Grips. I did order the complete set of these. So this is all of them in the line. So here is the first one here. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. Let's see if we can get a close up here. Has uh, the wands and compacts on it. I'm assuming it's just all of these right here on the package. Here is the back of the package. These were 800 yen each. Wonder what it's telling us here. What does that mean? I don't know. The next one is Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon. And they are on the actual pencil right here and on the packaging. This one makes me laugh. Look at Luna's booty. Like, why is she being so coy? She actually looks really cute. We've never seen artwork like this yet, so that's pretty interesting. I can't get over how she looks. Look at her. Oh my gosh. And then the last one that I got in the lineup, and it just looks like it is the Guardian bows on this one. Really surprised to see that there wasn't any Pegasus on any of these items, you know, since he's a really big part of the dream arc. And then here is a slider case set, just little plastic pouches that are kind of like have the little Ziploc kind of enclosure here. They come two to a pack and I only got one of them. So there was one more in the lineup, but I chose this one. And this first one says Moon Crisis Makeup, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal. And it shows you the other one on the back. You guys know why I picked this one, Cosmic Heart. And these were 520 yen each to get the two plastic slider pouches to store whatever in. And then I did get one of the pin cases. There were two, but I only got one. Oh, and it's so beautiful. I love the soft pastel colors. It's so super pretty. It's got this little flat bottom here and then the pattern repeats itself on the other side. Here is the tag that it comes with. And the back of the tag, these were 1500 yen each, which this kind of feels a little pricey for this because it doesn't feel like it should be worth 15 bucks. You guys can see the size in my hand. I mean, this was a $15 pouch and I don't really feel like it should have been. It's really nothing special, but a cute pouch to store all your Dr. Grips in. Super cute. And the very last item that I got is the Seppo pouch. And I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce it, so I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. But basically these are pouches to store little wet wipes in as well as some accessories. So it's got, you know, your little wet wipe spot where you can just pull out a wet wipe. So that's really handy. And here's the back of it. And these feel a lot more quality. It feels pretty nice. And there's also like a little storage area in here. So not only can you store your little wet wipes over here inside this little pocket that keeps them sealed, and of course it doesn't get into your other items, but you can also store other little trinkets, makeup, whatever, in the other side of the pouch. So that's really cute, and I know these are really popular in Japan. And the tag just kind of explains how these work. Pouch with sheet case, so you can put, you know, makeup wipe in there or just some sort of disinfectant wipe or whatever to take with you on the go. And these were 1800 yen each. There were two different designs and this is the one that I got. It's really quite cute and I think I may use this as a travel bag to store like my makeup removing wipes in it. Or, you know, in this COVID times, you could just carry some disinfectant wipes inside this little pouch to wipe down whatever you need to wipe down. So for this last part of the video, I do want to test out one of the pens. So we're going to test out this one and see how it writes. Get it out of the package and it's just hooked through here. Here's a close up of that pen. It's so beautiful. I mean, you can see how glittery and metallic the bows are on it. Let's go ahead and click it. Okay, this is the pen. It writes so good. <laughs> it kind of just glides across the paper. Like I'm barely putting any pressure on it. The grip part of it is really nice and cushiony. So I definitely get why they call it doctor grip. They've taken care of our fingers, you know, holding pins. That was me just testing out one of the pens. They're really nice. Definitely recommend them. Uh, they are a, about $8 each. And you might still be able to get some of these on Hobby Link Japan.
Guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and got to see a little bit more detail about these Sailor Moon Eternal Sun Star stationary items. Let me know down there in the comments if you guys bought some of this too. I would love to know your guys' opinions on any of these items today or if you also got them yourself, what do you guys think about them? Definitely chat along with me down there in the comments below about anything you guys want to say about the Sun Star stationary products. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. I've got lots more Sailor Moon content coming up soon that I think you guys will enjoy. Please show your support for the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below if you've got the time. If not, and you would like to support this channel in another way, I do have a buy me a coffee link down there in the description below if you guys would like to treat me to a coffee. That's it for now, guys. Thanks again for watching. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you guys in the next video.